Right. Good morning. And it is a good morning, actually, because I've just got this. Um, I've been after this record for years. Years and years. I don't even remember how long. Since I... I suppose since I started collecting. And uh, it's always gone for unbelievable money on eBay. So I never thought I'd have it. And then, last week, a big job lot of records, if it has to be said, was full of absolute junk. Uh, it turned up in there, and, and the guy had listed all the records, all 600 of them, and I was... It just goes to show you should look through everything, even if you think, oh, there's not going to be anything good in here. Look through it, because you never know. This was in there. And uh, there were a few nice things in there, and it's all turned out to be in quite nice condition. This is a solid V plus copy, I'd say. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, because it does that for me. Plus a video title, Will. This is an HMV 109 gramophone from about 1927, so not quite contemporary with the record, but not far off, and it's a very similar machine to what it would have originally been played on. Here we go. Uh, it's the first time I've played this. Let's hope it plays as nice as it looks. This record is unique in that it features a distinctly new syncopated rhythm all the time. Just goes to show, always look everywhere. If you think, oh, there's a load of crappy Bing Crosby on Brunswick, which it was, 
you'll never find anything good. There was some good stuff in there, I, 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 I tell you, there was some very nice stuff in there. A mispressed Imperial was in there. Don't know what all that's about. Um, a few swing records, you know, not nothing as great as that, but well worth having. One pound fifty per disc. I, I messaged the seller. And I thought, he's not going to fall for this, is he? He's going to know that I'm a collector. And obviously, if I want something, it's got to be rare. It's got to be worth having. I, I don't mind telling you, I lost a bit of sleep over it, really. I, I was lying there, and I kept waking up thinking, oh, no, what if he doesn't sell it separately? Or what if he just sells it as a job lot? Because I'm not taking all that rubbish. Well, I might have done for the Charleston. But, um, anyway... One pound fifty each. <laughs> Just goes to show. All right, I'll be back later. I'll probably do a, a, a video of Dan's band records and feature this one. Can't believe I've got it.